Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go! Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you guys the last story out of this Disney's Christmas Storybook Collection. Okay guys, I know it's been a minute, but I've been on a little... Having some technical issues, okay? And this last one is Lady in the Trap Tris Christmas Traditions. I know we passed Christmas, but I do want to get rid of get done with this book. All right. So this is Lady in the Tramp Christmas Traditions. Let's get into this. Lady was excited. It was almost time for Christmas. I can't wait to teach the puppies all about our Christmas traditions, she told Tramp one evening. Teach them? Tramp asked, what is there to teach? Doesn't Christmas just show up one morning? Well, yes. Lady admitted, but Christmas is about more than just one day of the year. It's about all the things we do together as a family. This was Lady's first Christmas with the puppies and the tramp and with tramp. There were so many fun ways to celebrate the holiday. Sharing their family traditions will make this the best Christmas yet. Just wait until you see the tree all lit up, she told him. It's magical. And then we hang our stockings by the fire. Trap looked confused. He had never heard of that tradition. Why would you hang up stockings? He asked Lady. For Santa Claus to fill with presents, of course, Lady replied. Just thinking about Christmas morning was exciting. Just then... The two heard a voice with a thick Scottish accent. Ah, lad. Old St. Nick will fill your stocking with toys and bones and fancy collars, said their friend Jock, who had joined them. My favorite part of the season is the caroling. Trusty added, joining the group. Miss Lady is a mighty fine singer, and I've been known to howl along pretty well myself. Lady smiled. My favorite part is Christmas dinner. We all sit together and eat the most wonderful meal of the year. It sounds like quite the celebrations, Pitch, Trump said. What's your favorite tradition, lad? Jock asked. I never really celebrated Christmas, Trump told them. On the streets, it was just another day. Although the scraps were much better than usual, well... All that has changed now, Lady said. I just know you'll love our holiday traditions, and the puppies will too. It really is the most wonderful time of the year. Lady was right. Christmas was magical. The whole house sparkled and shone with decorations and light. The puppies had a great time hanging ornaments on the tree, although Trump had to help them reach the branches. And Darling even let them sample some of her sweet-smelling Christmas cookies. After the treat and cookies, the puppies couldn't wait to try all the other traditions. Fortunately, there was a new way to celebrate each night leading up to Christmas. <laughs> One chilly night, the whole family bundled up and went caroling with Jock and Trusty. Lady did have a lovely voice, though it was her, hard to hear her over Trusty's howling. On Christmas Eve, Jim, Deere, and Darling took the family ice skating. Anetta, Colette, and Danielle were great skaters, just like their mother. But Trump and Scamp weren't quite as graceful. <laughs> the boys is having a hard time. Before bed that night, Lady and Tramp helped the four puppies hang their stockings by the fire. What are these for? Skep asked his mother. Lady smiled. Just wait and see, she said. <laughs> the next morning, the pups awoke to find their stockings stuffed. Santa Claus had come. He had brought a brush for Anetta, Anita, mm -hmm, a teddy bear, for Coletta, a squeaky mouth for Daniela, and 
a big ball for scamp. Lady was Lady got a shiny new water dish and Tramp got a new bone to chew. Merry Christmas, everyone, Lady said, looking around at her happy family. Later that evening, Lady was getting the puppies ready for the holiday meal when they all heard a loud crash in the dining room. What was that noise, Mommy? asked Anetta, Anita. I bet it's a prowler, said Scamp. Stand back. I'll take care of this. <laughs> he ran toward the noise, the rest of the family following close behind. <laughs> he like, I'm the boy. Dad not here, so I'll man up. <laughs> Together they came upon a horrifying sight. The neighbor's cat ugh, had slipped into the side window and then run right back out. He had knocked against the dinner table. Dishes were broken and the turkey had fallen to the floor. Christmas dinner is ruined, Lady said sadly. I'll teach that cat to make my mother sad, Scamp said. He ran for the door, but Tramp stopped him. Hold on, son. The cat can wait for another day. Let's help Jim, Deer, and Darling clean up the mess. When all the broken dishes and ruined food were gone, Lady and Tramp, Looked at the empty dining room. Hold on, y'all could have ate the food off the floor. Y'all dogs. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> hmm. Lady and Trap looked at the empty dining room. I'm sorry about dinner, Pitch. Trap said. It's my favorite holiday tradition, and now I don't get to share with you, Lady laminated, lamented. I was really looking forward to it. Suddenly, Trap had an idea. He turned to Lady excitedly. Come on, he said. Let's get Jim, dear darling, Aunt Sarah, and the kids. I just realized I do have my own Christmas tradition to share with you all after all. Okay, let's see, Trump. What you got? Trump led the whole family downtown to Tony's. Eh, butch! Eh, butch! Tony cried when he saw them walk into his warm and festive restaurant. It was covered in decorations and smelled delicious. Welcome to Christmas dinner! We were wondering if we would see you this year. And with such a beautiful family, come on in! This is perfect, Lady told Trump, as they all sat down to a delicious Italian Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas, Trump, said. May all of your traditions continue for many years, except maybe for ice skating. <laughs> all right, guys, that was the end of Lady and the Trump Christmas Traditions. And the end of this book, finally. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Storytime. Please don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. All right, guys. Bye.